Welcome to another Grey Hack video. In this video, we're going to upgrade the end map tool. Several of you have wished for a tutorial or a video where I show you how you can make a end map tool that can see deeper inside network. As you might have seen, some more advanced tools can do this, and naturally, uh, several of you, several of you want to do the same thing in your scripts or perhaps just have a more um, enhanced end map tool for yourself. So I made uh, one. Let's just compare it to a normal one. Let's try a random IP end map. So this is what it looks like. And then we can do X map. That's not the dot. There we go. Uh, and as you can see, it first prints the nmap results, which are the port forwarded port in the router. And then it also adds down here all the ports um, that can be found on the LAN IPs on the network. Uh, these, this includes um, IPs that are already um, up here port forwarded. So for example, this computer 1.2 has port 22 open as you can see here as well port 22 open on uh, 1.2 uh, i'm just saying the end here 1 2 1.2 um and uh, this is because this port is open in this computer but it's also port forwarded which means that it shows up in the router so this first part is the same part as you have up here in the normal end map the port forwarded ports in the router and then down here you have the extra ports um, that are not visible with a normal nmap scan but several advanced tools can do this okay so let's start building this thing uh, we'll go into help and then we'll go into nmap and we can get the source code for nmap inside the manual like this then what we do is we mm, what we will do first is we will do open a code editor with root privileges since i have protected my system and paste no we're not going to build it yet we paste it in here so that we will be able to save it later okay um, the start of the nmap tool looks good. It just checks if um, you have the correct um, information put into the tool. And then it saves the IP into this variable right here. Uh, param0 is what you put um, into the terminal. So 3.3.3, uh, .3 the IP right here, would be param0. That's saved into this variable. It checks if it's a long IP save that information yes or no into a um, another variable and so on and we have some um, inconsistent formatting that will run completely fine uh, but for consistency I'm just going to remove it uh, this part down here uh, is checking if it's a LAN IP and then it grabs the router with the router. If it's not a LAN IP, then it grabs the router with the uh, IP address. You don't need to do this, you can just grab the router with the IP address. Um, there is no reason to actually do this, but since it's already there, it can stay. Uh, then we have if the router is a null, uh, if it didn't find a router on that uh, IP, then it will exit and tell you that. There is nothing to end map. Okay, so that's perfectly fine. We want to keep that part. Then we uh, get to uh, adding our own stuff. The first first thing we want here is a function. Let's do port. Wait, print. Print port. Is or maybe port. That's what we're going to uh, call our function. Uh, 
and this is how you make a function. Hmm. I think we will leave that for a little bit. Um, next, we're going to use the function. So we're going to, we haven't filled it with anything yet, but we're going to use it. So we use a function by putting the function and then parentheses like this. Then we want to pass something into the function and we're going to use this part right here. So uh, down here we have isvan IP, then it grabs uh, route, uh, the router use port. Um, and we want to use this, uh, these ports that are in the router uh, and pass that into the function. So these ports right here are these first uh, ports up here. Uh, which is a normal nmap scan uh, and now that is passed into this function so we can put a R, uh, variable called ports up here which now has the ports that we sent to the function <coughs> then we remove this And then we can, I think the next thing we will do is a for loop. So we're going to, um, uh, as you can see here, there are a bunch of different LAN IPs on the router. And there's a way to get all those LAN IPs and then um, can use them to find the ports that are associated with them. So for LAN in, and then it's, router dot device on IP like this. This will grab all the LAN IPs on the router. Well, mm, yeah, associated with the router. And for uh, the end statement to end the for loop. And then uh, this for loop, of course, will take the uh, uh, so this this method right here. It uh, grabs all the uh, LAN IPs associated with the router and puts that into a list. And then we use a for loop to grab ev each and every one of these uh, LAN IPs from the list, uh, one at a time, and put that into the variable LAN. Then we will use that variable uh, one at a time with this function right here we just grab that oh, actually we can grab all this and then we put lawn here so router device port and then you select which device you want the port for and uh, as you can see here we uh, take the first uh, lawn ip and grab the port for that one and we take the next one and the next one and the next one uh, until we eventually have all the ports. Now, what we're going to do with these ports that are grabbed, first of all, they're also put into a list. So what we're going to do is we're going to store them um, by adding the previous um, uh, port list to the new port list until all the LAN IPs have been scanned and we have grabbed all the ports for all of these. So all these ports right here have been stored into a list variable called port. Port is a variable which is a list. We need to um, uh, tell the program that. Uh, and then it can add that um, into the list. Then we will use the print port. So just like we... Just like we did up here, when we took, uh, so up here, when we took all the router ports and printed those. Now we have collected all the LAN IP ports uh, and we want to print those. So we use print port function that we made and we put the router don't use ports into there. Mm, okay, so this part has been taken care of, that's uh, up here. And the else part has been taken care of. It's here. We can remove this. 
and we have if port equals to null then exit nmap ip address not found and we already have a check for if the nmap ip address is not found we also it checks if there are any, any ports we also have a uh, port check um here uh, here is a port dot len equals zero so there's also a port check so that means that this uh, is actually redundant we don't need this then we have uh, mm, then we have some checks for the port so for example if it's a string uh, and this is good we can use this we'll put that up here in the function and what we want this to do is so so if the port is generally what is going to pass it is a list of ports but if it got uh, if, if it gives it a string instead then we know that something went wrong and that it's a well i, I think the only reason it's going to be a string is that it's an error message so we want to print this error message um and of course we also don't want it to do anything else with the port so we're going to print the error message and we also want it to quit the function so we'll return uh, so we'll return exiting out of there uh, we don't want to use uh, the print if they uh, if it's an error message um, and it's also going to print the error message then we have another check uh, down here that we can also use up in the function uh, and that is if there are no ports in the um, list um, if the list length is zero and again we want to print that information so print we will also add at the end here a new line i think it makes the formatting look a bit better and for the error messages that's fine so if the port uh, this is also nothing you need to change but for consistency i'm going to do it uh, if ports.lab is nothing then it's going to print this but it also should not it actually doesn't matter uh, let, let's do return anyways uh since it's nothing then it won't affect for loop that we that we're going to run uh, down here in the function uh we'll just return doesn't matter optional um then down here we have the for loop that prints all the port information and puts that into a uh big string i think yeah it's a string and then formats it by format columns as you can see here uh, by rows and columns so it looks nice and tidy yep and that's what we're going to use here now in order for you to paste like i just did uh, into another tab um so previously it was um uh, had zero tabs and now it has one tab uh, you can use control shift uh, v for pasting uh, in case any of you were wondering so if it passes these checks and doesn't return uh, exiting out of the function then uh, it's going to use the port list and for loop uh, and print uh, all the information uh, down here in the format column Mm, then we need to have this info up here uh, for the uh, two prints so we will use this and put that at the top of the uh, function then we want to use up here you can see the first first thing it prints is starting and map and interesting ports so before we run the first print port, uh, this one right here, we want to 
run this code and we just simply put that up here like so i think that's all you need to do uh, you can have another look at the code see what it looks like when it's finished okay uh, we'll test this we'll uh, save it into xmap and let's do xmap okay so there is a small error yeah so what i just did here uh, is that i uh, just copy pasted this one without actually changing the ports that were going to be printed so it's going to be ports we need to use the ports from the lawn and not the router ports that we already used up here see if there are any other errors nope that's fine so um yeah this is what it looks like and uh, now you can get the um ports that are not port forwarded you cannot uh, hack these ports uh, from outside the network you can only attack the port forwarded ports from outside the network in order to attack them you need to be inside the network but it can still be nice to have this kind of intel about the system when you are uh, well gathering information about your target to hack it i hope uh, you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one